What's up party people and welcome back to my channel. So today we're testing out some new makeup from Walmart and just stuff that Walmart sells. There's, there might be a couple things in here that aren't exactly new that we're going to throw in too, but we've got a ton of stuff from Hard Candy. I feel like they've really been throwing out stuff left and right here recently. And also some more products from the Makeup Revolution line at Walmart called Relove. Yeah, I've already primed my eyes, so that's good to go and I've already got my skincare on, but that's pretty much it. This looks weird. If it's, I need, I need a clip on this side too. So amongst the new hard candy stuff that I found, I have these eye def eyeshadow markers. I'm pretty sure these were under $10, but yeah, here's what it looks like. Um, I got two different shades. I got cold brew and pony and these look really cool. I feel like hard candy has always given me like an urban decay vibe. Are they owned by the same company? Probably. It says 12 hour wear, budge proof, crease resistant, vegan and cruelty free. And it's got shea butter in it. So it's got a sharpener on the other end. So that's cool. You can keep it nice and sharp. Here's a shade cold brew which is a really nice like bronzy shade. You don't see chunks of shimmer or sparkle in this. So it's almost like, like a satiny kind of shade, but yeah, really good for every day. I like that shade. The other one I got is called Pony. So this is more of like a taupey, plummy, a lot more cool toned. So I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use cold brew today. It definitely has some stick to it. Not so much to where I can't blend it out or anything, but it just feels like it's not going anywhere, but it, it doesn't feel drying or anything. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush like this. I'm just gonna try to buff out the crease a little bit, but I think I like that. Like, I think that's a really nice one and done kind of shade. And it is actually buffing out. So it's not like the e.l.f. no budge cream eyeshadows where they truly don't budge. Those were so bad. Like, that to me is the pinnacle of horrible. It's what you don't want to be. I'm trying to decide if I want to put Pony on the other side just so you can see the color, but I don't plan on actually wearing this. But let's just, let's just go ahead and apply it so you can see. I did wear this the other day. And from what I remember, it wore pretty well, but I'm just not the biggest fan of the color. I'm not really into cool tones anymore. And it's got like a pinky purple shimmer with that like taupey plum base. And it's a really, it's a pretty unique color actually. So yeah, it's cool tone, but it's, it's actually not that bad. But yeah, I'm just gonna take this off now and stick with cold brew, but I mean, still really pretty and nice formula. So LA Colors also has a new display in my Walmart. So I'm not sure how widespread this is gonna be. For the most part, I saw mostly newer things from the LA Colors line. So this is the Radiant Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. But no joke, if they took out this really cheap looking embossment in the matte shades, this would look like an expensive palette, like a more high end palette. Cause look at this color story, like it's so, pretty like you've got mattes you've got shimmers you've got like sequin matte shades and the, it's just it's beautiful it's well rounded there's a shimmer slash here's the sequin matte down here on my pinky so yeah they're pigmented they're buttery they're super super soft let's just put them up here above the cream shades they don't feel like anything they're right here they don't feel like anything from la colors oh also oh oh okay well, hold on so i'm trying to wipe off the hard candy cream eyeshadows and look at this like i've got a little bit of um micellar water on this and like i'm really having to press on that and here are the matte shades in the palette so yeah there's nice basic shades i feel like complete a look really nicely like i feel like this is something that every palette should have but i think i'm just going to fast forward through me actually applying the shadows just because i feel like it's kind of boring to just sit and talk about each shade as i go so let's just go ahead and create a look and we'll talk at the end All right, so there's the eyeshadow with cold brew underneath. And obviously this got covered up. I get it. And I did use more shadows than I typically would nowadays, but I, just, I want to show you guys as much as possible. And I feel like you can't really test out the quality of a palette if you don't test out multiple shades. That is top freaking notch. Everything blended on so nicely. Like there was no blending issues whatsoever. There's really no fallout on my face. I applied the shimmers with my fingers and I didn't wet these at all. And you know what? This was apparently 248 at Walmart. Is that right? Yeah, 248 at Walmart. So under $3. So for eyeliner, this isn't new, but it's one that I've not talked about and you can find it at Walmart. So this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner in the shade Deep Onyx. So I actually watched a video from Smitha. Is it Smitha Deepak or Smitha Deepak? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but she did a video about tight lining. She was talking about how the reason it transfers and smudges and smears off and just like gets on your lower waterline if you do your upper waterline is because you're not supposed to apply it to the actual flesh 
like, you know, the most notorious spot. You're not supposed to apply it there. You're supposed to apply it right where the lashes are growing from. And she did like a little blink test. Like she's like, uh, uh, uh. And it didn't transfer. So I'm trying to perfect that craft. It's very hard, but we're gonna try it. I've already curled my lashes, by the way. That makes it easier. Like it doesn't just rub off, but it's really hard to get it right there where the lashes are growing, like right at the base. Like it's just so much easier to get on the flesh, but it's also pointless to do that if it just completely smears off throughout the day. So there's what it looks like side by side. So let's see, I feel like, yeah, I feel like the majority of the flesh is kind of clear. So um, yeah, it just, it really does make the lashes pop and I feel like it gives you the effect of liner. Mascara, this isn't necessarily new, but you can find this at Walmart. Like it's pretty, it's pretty easy to find, but I don't remember ever talking about this on my channel before. So maybe I did and just didn't really give you a follow-up. So here's a follow-up. This is a Maybelline, the Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara. So it says the brush separates and curls while the Memory Curl Formula gives curl that lasts. It says long wearing, defies clumps, defies smudging, defies flesh and up to 24 hour wear. There's one coat on each side. So first observation, like the, mo the thing that I feel like is most notable with this is that it's a very dry formula. Not so much to where it's just gonna flake and you know crumble as you're applying it or try to build it up but it's just one that like as you're applying it the, the wand itself feels dry like it really disperses off a lot as you pull it out so you're not working with a whole lot of product but yeah like i said i feel like this is definitely more like a fluffy volumizing formula versus lengthening so there is a second layer on this side versus one on this side it's buildable but it's not so buildable to where it's like oh my gosh look at the second coat to me this would be a really good like natural kind of mascara day like one where you you don't want it to be tough touching your eyelid like you don't want super va va boom it's not bad it's just kind of like meh so eyebrows are another category that i've really minimalized lately like i feel like i've really grown to love my brows more with just like a tinted brow gel or brow mascara like i like it more right now than whenever i do like a pencil like it just it kind of looks too sharp so this is the elf wow brow i got the shade neutral brown and this is a really good shade for me right now and this isn't new like this is one that everyone raved about a couple of years or so ago so i've been doing is kind of like zhuzhing it through like this and just kind of messing them up. I find it to really help with filling in. So I just kind of messily push it through like this and kind of back comb, looking like a hot dime. Then I go in and just kind of straighten them up. But for the areas where I feel like it's really sparse and that I would want to go in with a pencil, I kind of take just the tip of it. Like I just kind of like turn it like this kind of vertical and fill it in like that. And I feel like that actually fills in those gaps. In the comments below, let me know what is something that you're kind of evolving on. Like what is something that you've changed your mind about? Like something you've been doing for a long time that you're starting to realize like, you know what? That actually doesn't look as good on me as I thought. Or I just, like you're seeing things differently. So yeah, comment below. I think it's time to go on to the face now. It's a horrible freaking accent. So for primer, I have this Relove by Makeup Revolution H2O Hydrate Primer. There's not really any description of it on the bottle. So I'm just, just going to assume it hydrates and that's about it. I'm pretty sure everything with this line is under $5. I could be wrong about that, but there's what the texture and consistency looks like. So it is kind of like watery and runny and it's clear. So let's put it on this side first. Like I said, I've only got my skincare products on. Ooh, oh my God, that is heavily scented. One thing about it is that it does dry pretty fast. Like it dries as you're actively applying it. It does have some grip to it, some tackiness to it. Not so much so like the like a jelly primer. This is a water base. I don't see any silicones in here. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and apply some on this side now. Oh, that is, that is not a good scent. So I wasn't going to do this, but I think just to kind of stick to the theme of new stuff, I'm going to try the Super Serum again from Relove. So I, again, I tried this in another video, but you know, another, a follow up once again. Yeah, this is called the Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. I'm in the shade F2 and I've been self tanning a little bit. So this might be too light for me right now. And I might have to mix it into like a liquid bronzer or something, but it kind of reminds me of the L'Oreal Tinted Serum Foundation. Like it's runny and you don't really expect a lot of coverage from it, but hold on. So I'm just going to apply it with this clean flat foundation brush. This is the Urban Studio 163 foundation brush, but hopefully you guys can see what I had to cover up. Like I've got a lot back here and it's like almost full coverage. Okay. So there is one side with the foundation, one side without. So it definitely does look more juicy and dewy with the hydrating primer underneath. It doesn't sit weird on my pores or anything. Like it doesn't look you know, emphasizing of texture. It doesn't settle or anything like that. Like it's actually really nice wearing foundation. So yeah, ba boom, ba bing. You can see right there, it just kind of like, kind of 
washed over the blemish. So I'm actually gonna let this first layer dry and then come back in and try to build up back here where I have some acne and stuff. Cause I mean, it's covering it, but I can still see the blemish peeking through cause it's like, it's pretty raised and it's pretty gross. So I'm just gonna let the first layer dry, kind of solidify a little bit to where it builds up better and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I wanna show you guys before I move on, like this is how it sets and it just looks so juicy and it, like it looks good on its own, but with that primer underneath, I'm actually really surprised by how the glassiness is pulling through. Like that's, that's nice. I'm actually surprised by this. I'm gonna go in with some more and just try to build it up just a wee bit. Um, yeah, so for concealer, I'm not gonna do a new one just because I don't feel like it. I'm trying to get some love out of what I've already got in my collection and you can find this at Walmart. So I'm pretty sure this is one that you guys have already seen. The NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So this is in the shade beige. I've got vanilla as well, but we're, we're gonna try this one first. Another thing I've changed my ways on is a really bright under eye because you know what? It does nothing for dark circles. Ooh, this one might be this one's darker than my foundation. I might mix this in with some white concealer. Let's do vanilla on this side just to see which one I like better and see if I can get away without mixing it. Oh yeah, okay, vanilla, that's the way to go. But the next few things I'm actually really excited for and I have tested them out like once before, but we're gonna hone in today. So these are the Hard Candy Face Off products. So I've got a bronzer and I've got two different blushes as well. So let's start with the bronzer. So I have the shade Sweet Tea, comes with a wand. This luminous gel bronzer is dripping and nourishing emollients that ignite your summer glow. Long wearing buildable formula blends flawlessly into the skin for a sun warmed radiance with a touch of shimmer. But here's what sweet tea looks like. So it's a really pretty shade. Like it's a really nice tone. It's not too warm. And I don't remember how many shades they had in this. I feel like it was only like two or three. Like it wasn't very much. So start with that and go from there. So, okay. Just presses right in. Doesn't look harsh or anything. Like that's a really pretty tone for my skin. I really don't see any shimmer in the formula. It just looks glowy. This time I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and see if I like that application better. I really like the tone of this. Like it's like a honey tone tan shade. So moving on to the blushes now. So again, these are the Face Off Luminous Blushes. I have two shades. Yeah, Born Yesterday is kind of that intimidating looking Barbie doll fuchsia pink. Ooh. This will either be like the Dior shade where it's kind of surprising and looks good or it'll be a disaster. And this one is Be Real. So it's kind of like a muted, almost like a, like a peachy bronze shade. So yeah, they had the same kind of applicator and packaging as the bronzer. Let's start with Be Real on this side, which I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on top of my bronzer. It's kind of like an apricot shade, but ooh. Okay, this would be really pretty, especially for those days when you don't have a lot of makeup going on. Like you, sh you just wanna do a little bit, like you wanna have some color, but you don't want it to be like, fuchsia pink. I think that next time I would maybe avoid bronzer on my cheeks before I apply this just so you can see the blush by itself. But yeah, not too shabby. It does blend really well. On the other side, let's do one little dot of, what's it called? Born Yesterday. Let's see how scary she is. Okay. Not too scary, but that's a really that's a really nice shade. It's actually more subtle and toned down than I thought it would be. I think I found a hit. So for highlighter, I found another one from Hard Candy and that is the Face Off Highlighter Stick. And I got the shade Champagne Breakfast. Yeah, here's what it looks like. And it's got like a little heart in the middle. I don't really know what that's for aside from just to be cutesy. And then they've got a really stiff, dense, blending brush on the other side, but I don't know if I'm gonna use that. That looks like the type that would just pick up your face products. Yeah, it's just your typical kind of like champagne shade, like it doesn't look super special or anything, but it does have a slight bit of like pinkiness, like a brightness to it to where it may look kind of cool tone on some people. I just wanna get some on my finger like that and go straight in. It's matching in really, really well. Like it's not looking super shimmery, chunky. It's not pulling at the products underneath. Like it just looks like, oh my God, that's actually really pretty. Holy hell, I like that. I do wanna see how it applies with the brush now. So I'm just gonna take a stippling brush like this. It's kind of short and dense. Go on this side. I just feel like I can see more of the actual color whenever I apply it with my finger. I'm like that is, ah! It kind of puts me in mind of one of those highlighters that doesn't actually have a shade to it. Like it's just like, just gloss. Like it's like a clear dewy gloss, like a balm. Hard Candy's really doing it for me today, guys. Like I am, ah! So I do have a powder bronzer, which I am quite scared of to be honest. And I feel like once I put this on, it's gonna ruin everything. So I'm just gonna put it on my forehead and hope for the best. But this is the Relove Super Bronzer Powder and I got the shade Desert, which I think was the lightest one that I saw. It looks pretty dark um, and it's pretty matte. So I'm gonna take this on a really big fluffy brush and hopefully 
it's not that bad. So I might want to dust off some on the back of my hand and let's just kind of set it up here. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like I was really expecting it to just like, you know, plop right there and not move around, but it's kind of soft. Like it's actually pretty buttery and stuff. I may go in with just a tad bit more and just kind of stamp right there to kind of set the bronzer where I have a lot of acne because that just wants to melt down. So let's just put it right there. It's not bad. I'm doing my little setting spray hack for under my eye. I'm gonna link the video up here so you know what I'm talking about. I do this every single time I apply powder, especially under my eyes. Like there's not a day that goes by that I don't do this. Like it is a necessity for me. So for powder, this is another one that's not technically new. It's just new to me. That is the Revlon Photo Ready Blurring Powder. So I have a skin tone shade. This is the shade Fair Light and also a translucent. I'm gonna first go into the translucent shade and this has like a slight bit of like very, very fine micro shimmer in here. So I think it's supposed to kind of maintain a little bit of radiance. So that's kind of what I'm going for. But yeah, I start off in my T-zone, then work my way up to my under eye area. So the majority of the product's not under my eyes. I may tap onto my blemishes right through here too, just to kind of knock down some shine so it's not so obvious. Okay, that looks really nice actually. It's really smooth. Very, very soft looking, very blurred. And you can see from side to side, my pores do look pretty large and in charge over here because I've got more glow and radiance and stuff. So that's normal. But on this side, yeah, it's nice and mattified, but it's not like a dry looking matte. The tinted shade also has that really fine micro shimmer in it too. So let's go on this side. In terms of coverage, it's definitely not anything more than sheer. Like I'm packing it on back here where I had that blemish and it's not covering it up at all. So yeah, it looks pretty, Pretty much the same but i think i like i think i like the translucent side better hopefully this actually keeps everything on because i'm actually really impressed with the formula for setting spray i have another relove product which you know what's so funny about this the little brand name right here hopefully you guys can see it they've got love backwards but it's still like when you read it it's revol <laughs> but this is the pore vanish primer mist but i'm gonna use it as a setting spray let's check out the mister okay <laughs> i got a little helper down here by the way it's okay let's just do it on one side first see if we can see a difference in the pores yeah i don't really see a difference in my pores or anything maybe it looks better like more pore filled with you know act as an actual primer but right now it's not really doing a whole lot more for me we'll just move on to the lips i got a brown lip liner thinking that it was going to be like that you know very trendy kind of brown lip liner that's not too brown but you know Kind of brown, but no, it looks like an eyeliner brown. This is the Relove Super Fill Lip Liner in the shade Wonder. It's just a wooden pencil. So let me swatch it. I haven't used this yet. Oh, yeah, that's brown. There's what it looks like so far. So yeah, really pigmented, super, super creamy. I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of blend it out a little bit. I'm hoping this kind of gives that like contoured lip look. Not as bad as I thought, not as bad. I've got the CoverGirl uh, Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss, which is going viral right now, but I, I feel like this would look better with more of like a nude. So I don't, we'll, we'll, we'll apply this just to see though. I got the shade Havana Good Time. So apparently this is supposed to be a really juicy, like glassy looking gloss. What do you think? You want some? Let's pack them together. What do you think? Do you think it's sticky? Mm -hmm. I think it is. Oh, yes, it's sticky. Oh my gosh, it's sticky. Okay, can you see the little goop string? It was like spitting out when I spit, ugh. ugh. I don't know how I feel about it. I can see the string, like the from the top lip to the bottom lip, like. It's got a slight bit of color. Like in here, it looks like a very toned down corally color, but on my lips, it looks more of like a clear pink. It's got like a slight bit of tingly feeling to it. So it feels, feels pretty nice actually. So yeah, once I took my finger and got the excess off, it may be a lot better. So um, yeah, there's what my makeup's looking like right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and finish up my lower lash line and then we'll be done. All right guys, I'm back with the completed look. So here's what everything looks like now that we are done. And I've actually been done for about an hour now. So you can see how everything is like setting and stuff on my skin. And not that that's a long wear test or anything, just so you know how long it's been on my face. But I don't think I'm gonna do a wear test just because I do a wear test of the foundation in another video, the one I was talking about earlier. So I'm just gonna refer you to that one. Hopefully that's up by now, um, but I'll put it up here in the car and also in the outro but let's just do a little final roundup like final conclusion what's wow factor what's not i am very impressed with the hard candy cream eyeshadow sticks but specific, specifically cold brew which is the metallic shade that i use today i'm really looking forward to just using this by itself and you know like i said just buffing out the crease and having a really quick easy look because i really do think that the wear is going to be 
there. I think the pigmentation, the blend, everything about this is really top notch. I am over the moon excited about the LA Colors Radiant Eyeshadow Palette. Like I, this is just supreme top notch to me. The mascara. This isn't my favorite mascara. Like the look is fine. Like it doesn't look like my lashes are puny or anything, but I've got mascaras in my collection that do a lot more than this and I would not repurchase. The Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Eye Pencil. I wanna try this more. I will say um, like I can still see it in my waterline, like my upper waterline is what I'll call it. But I will say before I came back and did my lower lash line and stuff a few minutes ago, I did see some darkness overall. Like it, it just, it looked like I had some eyeliner smudging, but not necessarily on my waterline, just like down here around my under eye area. So I'm not sure if like blinking and stuff is causing that or what, but I mean, these are pretty notorious for being long wearing. So I've got, I've got more testing to do with it. I'll give you a follow up. The Mega Revolu, or sorry, Relove H2O Hydrate Primer. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. I'm really intrigued to see how this works with other foundations because I really do see a difference with this primer on versus without it in terms of using it with this foundation. Like my skin really did look glassy, glossy, juicy. I'm actually pretty impressed. The Super Serum Foundation from Makeup Revolution. Like I said, I am, this is pretty wow factor to me. From the coverage, the finish, the blend, the wear, how it sets my acne, just everything about this. Right now, I truly have no complaints. The Hard Candy Face Off products, the bronzers and the blush, and also the highlighter stick. Ah. I am surprisingly shocked by this. Like this is actual wow factor for me. The powder bronzer from Relove. I feel like good bronzers are pretty easy to come by. So am I just over the moon wow factor about it? Not really. I don't love it, but I like it. The Pore Vanish Prime Mist. This was, uh, this was okay at first glance. I feel like setting sprays are really hard to hone in on because they can work so differently and also like it, it's just it depends on your base one that i am pretty shocked by though that i didn't think i would be able to make work is this brown lip liner from relove like this is actually really nice like it's nice and smudgy and again it gives you that like contoured look without looking like you like have like a brown like milk mustache from your bronzer like ladies please stop doing this i know i really like this and then the revlon blurring powders i need to test these more like i'm, I'm kind of i'm having a hard time figuring out what's doing what today because I, I, i've tested out too many face products i've worn the translucent one for sure but it seems like i end up getting oily by the end of the day i could be wrong about that but i mean very smooth very velvety blurring uh, mattifying but not overly mattifying so it's got really good qualities like really high like a high quality powder but i just need to figure out like is it long wearing so i'll let you guys know an update and then is this last but not least i think it's last but not least covergirl clean fresh yummy gloss so i actually reapplied some more before i sat down and did this update so it doesn't feel as goopy and thick and sticky it's definitely not the most long wearing like i did have to reapply it after an hour because it look like I just had lip liner and like a clear gloss on so um, I mean I don't think it's as hop worthy as everyone's making it out to be I feel like people are just a little bit too easily impressed with basic glosses so that is it for this full face of makeup from Walmart I hope you guys enjoyed it here's a couple more things for you to check out next just venture around the channel make yourself at home subscribe if you're not already and turn the notification below to always see my stuff and I will see you guys in the next one Mwah.